we need to sedate ventilated babies. So obviously synchronized ventilation is the norm. Uh, Pre-medication for intubation and brief analgesia for painful procedures like chest drain insertion uh, can be considered. But no routine sedation or analgesia is needed for ventilated babies. So I have been following this approach for more than 15 years and uh, the nursing staff easily understand that the ventilator synchronizes the breaths and uh, if the baby is agitated we need to look at what else is provoking it rather than trying to sedate the baby. We need that in conditions like uh, PPHN where again it should be for a short period to tide over the acute crisis and wean quickly to the lowest dose. Uh, for post-operative pain, of course, it's essential to use a good uh, pain relief. Uh, we use morphine infusion at higher doses for the first 24 hours, but then wean quickly uh, using paracetamol, uh, which can be used rectally or IV as well. And um, when we need high frequency, some form of sedation is needed. We used to sedate more, but nowadays the concept is allowed a baby to self-ventilate, uh, have spontaneous breathing during high frequency which assists the baby's gas exchange and reduces the requirements. So even on high frequency, we only use minimal sedation.